Hello, and welcome to Pickled Alice Art. My name is Alice, I like pickles, and I am still a little bit sick. But I want to make some announcements anyway. Most of you probably already know, but my fifth book came out this week. It's called My Monster Friends and Me. It's written by Annie Sarek. There are 13 full spreads, six half pages, and one spot illustration way in the back of the book. I'm not allowed to show all of it yet, but maybe in a week or so I can do a quick flip through video. So, I'm sick, but that is no excuse to stop drawing. It is an excuse, though, to draw things that one selfishly wants to draw. I haven't drawn a pretty lady in a while, and like most artists, drawing pretty ladies is always fun and something all of us seem to do. I've had this idea before, but in different forms. I might draw something similar a little bit later, but today my goals were to draw something cool, and something pretty, and something third thing. Um, I just want to draw a pretty lady. Let's go.
yeah, I don't want to brag, but I can draw hands. <laughs> look at those phalanges. They look so good. I use my own hands as reference. You want to know the secret to drawing hands? You stare at them a lot. And then you draw them over and over again until suddenly you know how to draw hands. That's the secret. And sometimes even that doesn't work because you just have an off day where suddenly you don't know how to draw anything. But I didn't have one of those days. Even the mermaid has a hand. It's a simple, simple little lazy fist, but it's still a hand. I'm really glad I gave her a fist instead of her clutching her tail. It gives her more personality and it makes her look less like prey, which is more interesting and less sad looking. I also gave her a bra, a very uncomfortable bra made out of some kind of red coral. Part of me wanted to draw her with her tits out, cause if I was a mermaid, I would have my tits out all the time, but I changed it out for the same reasons it would have made her look like prey, because that's the world we live in, and also because I want it to go in my children's illustration portfolio. I have drawn mermaids in the past with their nips out, but I added a little seaweed bra to cover it up to put in my children's portfolio. Anyway, let's go to the runway. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.